Hey guys, what's up? And this is TFE Gaming, and today we'll be checking out all the new skill moves in FIFA 22. I will explain each and every skill move here with the controls and how effective is it and where to perform them. So let's proceed. All right, before we continue, I'm just letting you guys know I just set up a new merchandise store. Every design was made by me and every purchase on the store helps the channel to grow. The link is in the top of the description. The skill bridge is a new skill move that they've added this year and it is similar to the bridge that they added last year. The bridge is something that was abused by everyone last year. Literally, if you played online, then you might know everyone in Ultimate Team used to use the bridge and cause menace in the final third of the attacks. Now, the advanced version or the big brother of the bridge skill is the skilled bridge. Sadly, this skill move is not as effective as the original bridge, but this one has its own uses. The way you use the skill move is that it adds a ball roll to the bridge so the way you use it is to dodge players completely in full speed. Before you start implementing this skill move in your game, you have to keep in mind that this is not an easy skill move to time. So that also means that it's not for people who spam skill moves, but rather for the ones who have the confidence to take on one on one in their skill moves. This skill is essentially a ball roll with a bridge. So that means you can use it the way you use the ball roll. So even though it looks like you can use it as speed boost, but this is not a bridge. It doesn't work like a bridge either. It's just a fancier ball roll that also happens to have a knock on in the end. Okay, so looking back at the controls, if you remember last year to perform the bridge, you double tap the RB R1 button. It's the same thing, but you have to press the LT L2 button with it. So LT L2 and then double tap the RB R1 and you should see the skill bridge instead of the bridge. The four touch spin skill move. This is another skill move that they've added in the game and I must say it looks quite funky. At first glance, if you look at this skill move, it's very difficult to understand what's going on and how can you use this, but actually it's quite easy. Just keep in mind when you perform this skill move, you will end up in the opposite direction when the whole animation finishes. So for example, if you look on the left, you will end up on the right and this skill move is really good for turning against the defenders on your first touch. So I would recommend use the new first time skill mechanics that EA have explained and performed the skill move when the ball is approaching you. This is the longest skill move in the game and they have removed all skill move cancel mechanics. So make sure you have the time and the space to pull this off since it will take a second or two to complete. The skill move is really good when you're on the wings and you have to turn around to cross the ball in with your stronger foot. To perform this skill move, hold the LT L2 button and flick your right stick towards the back of your player twice and you will see this skill move. Make sure you're using a 4 star skill move player since the 4 touch spin is a 4 star skill move. Okay, recapping the controls of this skill move is basically LT L2 and then flick back towards the back of your player and you should see the four touch spin. This is a fancy skill move that they've added this year and this one is based on what Ronaldinho used to do in his Barcelona days. Even though this skill move is only for showing off and has no practical uses, it does look pretty cool and will definitely catch the eye when you perform it in front of your friends. Now to get some usability out of it and talking about its effectiveness all I found was that once the animation of the skill move finishes, you run with your player and you will experience a speed boost. So it's really good to trap the ball and then instantly accelerate away from defenders. Remember, this is a 5 star skill move and you will need to hold the L1 R1 or the LB RB button before you receive the ball. So to perform this skill move, you have to hold the controls before you even receive the ball. This skill move is something that you have to try with Ronaldinho and see how he performs it. Now recapping the controls, hold the L1 R1 and the LB RB before you receive the ball. The next skill move that they've added is another leveled up version of an old skill move. This time it's the scoop turn. It's called the scoop turn fake. Before getting into the details, let me tell you that this skill move is very difficult to pull off and it requires a lot of practice to make it work properly. I would highly request EA if they could change the controls and make it slightly easier, 
but I doubt they'll do that. The way you do it is to perform a scoop turn and then flick your left stick in the opposite diagonal direction of your player's face. Whenever I tried it, the success rate of the game understanding that I'm trying to do the scoop turn fake is very low. Since if you're practically thinking about it, the skill move is a scoop turn and then you have to turn your stick in an opposite angle in a second, which is very difficult to time when you are in front of defenders. And this skill move can be performed by players that perform the scoop turn, so obviously it's a 4 star skill move. I can say I found one practical use of this skill move, it's when you do a scoop turn and you for example mistime the scoop turn, in the middle of the scoop turn you can select the opposite direction and your scoop turn will get cancelled and it will turn into a scoop turn fake. So it definitely helps to cancel a scoop turn and change your direction pretty quick. Again recapping the controls of this skill move you have to perform a scoop turn first and then you flick your left stick immediately towards the other diagonal side and you should see the scoop turn fake. The explosive sprint, even though they are calling this a new mechanic, you can use it to beat players in FIFA 22. To use the explosive sprint you need to press the RT R2 button with the timing of getting an explosive boost in front of your defenders. Keeping in mind that even the defenders can use the explosive sprint, you should use it as well while you are defending. Let me tell you, noticing the difference between the normal sprint and the explosive sprint is not much, but you can notice it if you compare them side by side. Now the most effective way I found using in FIFA 22 is to use the explosive sprint when I was walking with the ball and not sprinting at all and then I bait the defenders getting too close to them and then I press the RCR2 button at the right timing, my player tends to get an insane pace boost that lets him beat the man in front of him. I also noticed that this mechanic has a cooldown so while using this explosive sprint you can't do it again and again. This skill move is very contextual and selecting the right moment is very important. One thing I need to point out even more is that this mechanic obviously works best with the pacey players like Alfonso Davis and Mbappe etc and you can see in this footage how I'm trapping players and baiting them to foul me to get a cheeky penalty or a free kick. Remember to perform this skill move you need to walk in a straight direction and then press the RTR2 button with the perfect timing and you should see the explosive sprint.